I'm going to read three passages. You have to identify who wrote them and what the text, what, what they're from. I may not read them exactly as the author might intend. Okay, so the first passage is a really difficult one. Okay. Day after day, day after day, we stuck. No breath, no motion, as idle as a painted ship upon a painted ocean. Water, water everywhere, and all the boards did shrink. Water, water everywhere, nor any drop to drink. Okay. Let's give you a moment to think about that, how difficult it is. Most of you won't get it. <laughs> All right, passage two. Passage two is a little bit longer. I guess I'll read it faster. <laughs> and when he died, I suddenly realized I wasn't crying for him at all, but for the things he did. I cried because he would never do them again. He would never carve another piece of wood or help us raise doves and pigeons in the backyard or play the violin the way he did or tell us jokes the way he did. He was part of us, and when he died, all the actions stopped dead, and there was no one to do them the way he did. He was individual. He was an important man. I've never gotten over his death. Often I think what wonderful carvings never came to birth because he died. How many jokes are missing from the world? How many homing pigeons untouched by his hands? He shaped the world. He did things to the world. The world was bankrupted of 10 million fine actions the night he passed on. That's the second passage. That one's easy, right? Okay. All right, this one is sort of in between, easy and difficult. It has the merit of being short. A word is dead when it is said, some say. I say it just begins to live that day. That's it. Good luck.